month, I'm sure, or something like that. And it wasn't intentional. Last time it was, but this time it really wasn't. Let me explain. Um, I actually just forgot about filming for a little bit because I had been reading and working and then I would be tired and then I would go home and I want to go to sleep or not deal with doing things and so I just wouldn't. So I spent a lot of last month just celebrating turning 29. I, yes, I am now 29. January 19th was my birthday and I spent that time just hanging out with friends, relaxing, just reflecting on 29 glorious years of life. And then I just said, you know, I'm just gonna just chill and just do whatever. And chilling and doing whatever just really consisted of Netflix TV and watching YouTube videos while reading ebooks. Like that's pretty much what I did as well as working because you know I gotta live. I gotta keep up my book habit and my makeup habit. So that's pretty much what I did. And I got new hair. Ah! Okay, so this video today is going to be, I can't stop moving my head because I love this so much. Anyway, today's video is going to be a recap of the books I did read in January of 2016. It is February 2nd. What? And I did want to tell you about some videos that are going to be coming up this month on my channel. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm a little hyper, I'm sorry. I've had a triple shot of espresso. I am sitting here eating like three bags of these Starburst candies. I do have water to calm me down, but that ain't working. And I have some cookies. Um, yeah, sugar high. So let's get started. Um... I only read five books this month, this month, last month, and that is actually a pretty good start for me considering that I have not been able to really focus on reading. So let's talk about these five books and I will show you them in order of how I read them. They were all ebooks, and so I am going to put the little pictures up right here. Okay, so. The first book that I read was Secrets in Phoenix by Gabriella Lepore. This is a book that is published or republished by um, Of Tomes Publishing. You guys know Benjamin Of Tomes. I'm sure he's another booktuber here, a big booktuber, but he's also decided to focus on micropublishing. And so he opened his own blah 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 micropublishing company. And he's been publishing books. And Secrets in Phoenix is one of them. I loved this book tremendously. I ended up giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. It's basically, and I'm just going to read the synopsis here because my brain is too addled and crazy right now to um, really give you a synopsis. So I'm going to read it. Um, when Sophie Ballester and her twin brother Sam and Todd are uprooted from their homes and sent to a remote boarding school run by their great aunt Ness, they stumble upon a hidden room that holds a secret, a secret that will change everything. The people of Phoenix Holt are not what they seem. In fact, nothing is. It's a very interesting paranormal, supernatural kind of a deal. I loved it. Action packed in my opinion from start to finish. Tons of mystery. I did predict some of the things that happened but I'm okay with that. I just had a great time with the book. I think it was the perfect start to my reading year of a hundred books. That's what I'm aiming to read. I'm not gonna do that if I can just if I end up just doing five books a month but I'll adjust. I'll adjust. But overall I love the book. Five out of five stars. The next book I read was by a bunch of authors that I actually introduced you guys to last year. They wrote the book Fractured Glass together and this year they wrote a book called Seven which is a story that tell that's an interpretation or that tells another kind of an adaptation of the seven deadly sins and it's by my lovely lovely friends. There are five of them. Casey Bonds, Joe Michaels, excuse me, Tia Silverthorne, Bach, I can never remember how to pronounce that. N.L. Green and Kelly Risser. And they wrote this fantastic book that I, of course, loved. I ended up giving this book a four out of five stars. It was really, really fascinating. It is a book that really, quite frankly, will catch you by surprise. Um, the, it's really told in different time periods from different perspectives. Of course, you have five authors. And once again, they do that whole thing where... 
five authors can come together and tell one fabulous story and you're just like how do you do this like how how is it how do you do this so well um I quite frankly think that this story was told brilliantly different time periods like I said um there is a moment where you think you know what's going on but then you don't and it's quite frankly the way that everything ties together is so brilliantly done it's so 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 good um reading the synopsis for you it's a really short one um seven marks upon a wall tom may rise but he may fall through five lives no one dares mention of the sin for which he seeks redemption fates will meet and you will see what will thus become of he pretty cool pretty cool so yeah I really enjoyed this book and it's funny because I didn't read the synopsis before I read the book um because sometimes I don't want to be led into something because they asked me to review this for them and I was like I'm not going to read the synopsis before you know I read the book I just dove right into it and I enjoyed it a great deal so I ended up giving it a four out of five stars the next book I read is actually the first part of a three-part serial and it's called Forbidden, part of the Her Forbidden Stepbrother serial. It's by Lauren Smith. Um, I ended up giving this one a three and a half out of five stars. I was supposed to fully review this one but I ended up forgetting about it. Um, I thought it was okay. I just I don't like serials really and I this is one of those situations where this girl falls in love with her stepbrother and I don't feel like dealing with that <laughs> that's part of the reason why I didn't I didn't like it I was just more along the lines of great we're going this route again you're in love with your stepbrother and now you can't be together because you're you're gonna be related but not related your mom and your dad your mom and his dad or your dad and his mom are now dating and blah 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 they're getting married and you're gonna be you know I'm just I don't care I don't care about any of that so while I was reading it I was kind of rolling my eyes at a lot of it but I am one of those people that has to finish what she starts so I am gonna read parts two and three when they come out but I liked the dynamic between the two main characters I just don't care about the situation or I just don't care for the situation that they're in like if it were any other scenario I would probably be on board with it but it's just the whole stepbrother stepsister thing and I'm just like you're not related so technically you can date why are you not telling your parents this you're adults get over it and just be honest with each other and start dating we don't have time for all this drama why so that's really kind of how I felt when we were getting into the story. So I ended up giving it a three and a half out of five stars. The next book I read, which is probably one of my favorite series ever, is the third installment in um, the Ruins series. I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but apparently it's going to be a series um, called The Uprising by T.H. Hernandez. I love this book. I can't really talk too much about it because it's a continuation of the previous two books. It's The Ruins the no it's the unions the unions trilogy the union the ruin the uprising um i love this book gave it a five out of five stars as per usual i don't want to read the synopsis because it'll spoil the first two books but just know that it's a fantastic extension of an already fabulous series five out of five stars as i've said okay moving on and the next book, I, the fifth book, if I know my numbers right, we're on our fifth book, right? Let me count. Count. Too much candy. I don't know math anymore. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the fifth book is New World Rising, and this is by Jennifer Wilson. This is another book that was published by Of Tomes Publishing. Ben sends the books to, I'm one of the Of Tomes bloggers, so I read a lot of the books that he publishes just get reviews out so on and so forth um this book I really enjoyed I ended up giving a four and a half out of five stars this book let's read the synopsis since witnessing her parents murders at the age of 11 Phoenix's only purpose in life has been to uphold her mother's dying words to be strong and survive but surviving outside the walls outside of the sanctuary is more like a drawn-out death sentence a cruel and ruthless city Tartarus, 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 what is this? I don't know. Tartarus 
is run by the tribes whose motto is simple, join or die. Refusing to join and determined to live, Phoenix fights to survive in this savage world. But who can she trust when no one can be trusted, not even herself? Loved this book. From Phoenix and her vulnerability and her flawed mentality to all of the secondary characters that she was introduced to. Ugh, I'm so on board for this story. So much action, so much drama, so much tension. It was really, really well written. The ending of the book really left me wanting more. I need the second book and that's what I like. I'm one of those people that don't mind cliffhangers when it comes to books. I love them. Like, give me more. It just leaves me hungry for the next book. Usually if I know a book has a cliffhanger though, I don't read the first book until the second book is out. But because Ben sent this to me, I had to read it and I loved it. But now I'm waiting on the next book. It was so good. But yeah, so I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. So those are the five books that I read for the month of January. I think I'm off to a pretty good start considering I'm coming off of a really, really insane holiday season. So we will see what happens, particularly during the summertime when things tend to loosen up for me a little bit more. But that is it for my January wrap up. But before we go, I do want to let you guys in on what is going to be happening on this channel for the next several months. I am... As I've told you before, but let me remind you, I am one of the um, official bloggers slash booktuber for the UtopiaCon convention that happens in Nashville every year. This is the fifth year it's happening, and I am actually one of the official um, bloggers for it this year. So I am going to be featuring a lot of stuff about Utopia, talking about it, sharing my experience with you guys, sharing about, you know, the convention, some of my favorite things, what features are going to be happening this year, um, some of my favorite things about Nashville, um, maybe even some author spotlights. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. But that's going to be happening hopefully once a week, but if not, then maybe every other week. To where I'm talking about just the convention. One, because I really want you guys to know and understand why I love it so much. And two, in hopes that you guys can come to it. And one, we can hang out because I'll be there. And two, you'll get seriously the experience of a lifetime. Like, it's the best. It's the only conference that I'm going to this year. I'm not doing much traveling this year because Mama is still broke from 2015. But, um... I do want to make sure that I go to UtopiaCon this year because I just believe in it so much. So I am going to be um, uploading various videos on UtopiaCon over the next several months. Two, I do want to do something, if you guys don't know, February is Black History Month, and it's also a leap year, so Black History Month has another day in it, so yay. Um, I wanted to do something every single day for Black History Month, not necessarily on this channel, but just maybe on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or whatever, but time got away from me, and I kind of let two days slip by. So I'm thinking maybe I might do something, I don't know what the frequency of it would be. It clearly can't be every day because you can't trust me to do something every day anymore because I just don't have time. Um, maybe it's every week. Maybe it's every other day. Maybe it's just twice a month. I don't know. Or maybe it's just two times this month. But I want to do something special for Black History Month featuring books. I want to do a book recommendation video maybe. Or I want to do... Um, some of my favorite childhood books that I read for Black History Month or um, that were written by um, um, African American authors or my favorite parts of Black History Month or my favorite thing about me and my culture, like whatever it is. I want to do something um, not only for you guys but for myself because this is an, an important month for me because I get to celebrate who I am and where I've come from. So... I'm still trying to figure that out. If you guys have any ideas, if you're even interested or if you even care about this, and I hope you do because if you don't, then that kind of hurts my feelings because, you know, it's, it's about my people and it's about me and I want you guys to, you guys love me, right? <laughs> um, but I just, I really want to be a voice and an educator and an advocator um, 
for education and learning about people that are different than um, the majority. And I am an educated African American woman with two degrees and there is a lot of exceptionalism in that. Unfortunately, it's not the norm. Um, it's more common than you think, but it's not the norm based on a stereotypical standard. And I want to help in shattering that assumption, you know? And so um, I don't know what I want to do, but I want to do something. And if you guys have ideas, c c comment down below. And yeah, I'll hit you up actually about it because that would be something that I would one, want to give you credit for and two, want to kind of dissect your brain a little bit on what, what how we can expand upon whatever your idea is. But yeah, I'm going to go. This video is taking forever. But yeah, that is all I have to say today. Thanks so much for watching this video, of course. And I will see you guys soon in my next one. Bye. Make sure you like this video and you comment and subscribe. Bye.